been 15 years since Amanda Ripley's mother disappeared along with an Ostromo. She's been looking for answers ever since. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. Now a Weyland Yutani employee, she discovers that the flight recorder from the Nostromo has been recovered. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? Now even though the player spends most of their time preoccupied with the alien, there are actually other threats aboard the station that they will have to worry about. Sevastopol station is falling apart and the population is dwindling. This means there's a lot of people who are just trying to survive in any way they can. How do I know I can trust you? In order to tell the story, we needed our characters to be believable. So we took the decision to cast real people. Something's here. Something you wouldn't believe. A ghost. We worked with a company in Sheffield to capture the digital likeness of our cast. We really wanted as high a level of fidelity as possible. We want the characters that you meet on Sevastopol to look and feel real. Much like the original film, this is a credible world filled with believable characters. Characters we want you to care about. I've been cleared to offer you a place if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Ridley Scott's original Alien movie presented a really grounded view of the future. This wasn't holograms and touchscreens. It's chunky analog push-button technology. This is a world of CRT, not LCD. 